Hello, hello. Um, welcome back to a Show It Tip Tuesday. Um, today I'm going to be going over how to create a digital prod, a digital product in Shopify, and then use the buy button feature with Shopify Lite to then integrate um, the buy button onto your shop or onto your Show It site rather. Um, this requires a Shopify Lite subscription, which I believe is only like eight or nine dollars a month. And it basically just includes the back end of Shopify. So you're not getting the full online store, but it does allow you to create buy buttons that you can embed onto your site, which is pretty handy. So I am going to use an example um, of a digital product today, but this would also uh, work for physical products as well. Um, I had to download this buy button thing into my sales channel, but you would just add this and it would be an option listed under here. Um, but I have done that. So I'm going to add a product now. I'm going to use my live show at bootcamp just as an example, because it's actually something that I'm selling right now. So we're going to type this in. I'm going to grab some copy from my site. This. Right now, I have this linked through a different uh, payment portal called Moonclerk, um, but this is also a great option. Don't really want that bold. There we go. Um, you can organize things by um, type. Um, you can organize by collection. There's a whole bunch of different ways. This is the only product that I'm going to have in here for right now, so I'm not going to do any of that. But for example, if you had a bunch of t-shirts, a bunch of pants, sunglasses, that kind of thing, you could organize them out and tag them so that they're a little bit more searchable. I am going to upload an image here. I'm just going to upload a stock photo for right now. Um, just because it is a digital product. Uh, here's the price. I'm not going to charge taxes. I do not have an inventory, and then I'm gonna unclick physical product because it's digital. All right, and we are going to then save this. And then I'm going to go up here to more actions and embed on a website. This is going to take me to the buy button. All right, and here we go. Um, I am going to do the product buy button. Um, I do not recommend inputting whole collections at once on to show it. It can sometimes um, get kind of glitchy, uh, I would recommend using it per product. I'm going to select this. And this is where you can customize it. <clears throat> OK, so it says out of stock right now, so I may need to go back and mess with my inventory. Um, so you can do a couple of different layouts. Um, you can have the whole thing embedded with an image in the description and the price. You can also do very basic, where it's literally just the button. Um, so if you wanted to, for example, not have the price listed or something like that, I am just going to pull up my sales page just for an example. I'm just going to create an extra canvas here just to show you how I could do this. If I only wanted to use the Buy button, I am going to create the item in show it instead of uploading or instead of embedding the whole thing. So if I wanted to do this, but then I have a little bit more control over what it looks like, of course, you can move your image around. <clears throat> I like this shape a little bit better. I could then match my branding a lot easier. You can do um, 
some styling here, but if you have specific, they have quite a few, they do. But if you have um, custom fonts and things like that, this is just a way to um, kind of get a, um, around any extra styling that you have to do. So for example, I'm gonna use, This silk serif. Great. And actually, I'm going to go back and show you uh, where to fix the inventory as well. Because it's a digital product, it doesn't really need an inventory. If you wanted to limit your um, amount that were sold, that would be done um, here. Uh, but I'm going to say don't track inventory and save. So now when I go back to the buy button, you can, well now it's giving you the option to choose here. Um, so I'm for this, I'm gonna choose button only, but we wanna edit it. So we're gonna go into here. Create, great, yes. Okay, so I'm gonna switch the style to basic. The action um, here is a little bit, there's a few different options. You can add product to cart, and then they can click through it and it does this and then, then they can go and check out and it pops up. And this would pop up on the side of your website. Um, you can make it go directly to the checkout, which is a buy now button, which does not give them a cart option. And you can also have it open product details in a pop-up that will bring this um, description up that you already added, which is sometimes nice. You can show multiple pictures if you have a lot of images for your product. For the tutorial, I'm going to do the um, add product to cart, and then I'm just going to change this to match my um, branding. And you can see that my um, text here is, Mozzarat semi-bold, excuse me. So I am just going to change this and hope that they have it. They have bold, which is good enough. And I'm going to change um, the size a little bit. I'd like to be able to, uh, there we go, change the casing, um, which uh, I can't do. Um, In here, in theory, you could probably code it, um, but I'm not gonna mess with that right now. So next, now you're just gonna copy this code here. Go, Open your embed code form, paste this in here. And there is your button. So I'm just gonna line these up nicely. And I'll show you how that looks on the live or on the preview of the sales page. I'm gonna scroll down. So here you would click, would add to the cart. You could then check out. You're gonna check out through Shopify and that all um, is included with your, um, the eight or $9 a month subscription fee for Shopify Lite. Um, so, on the other hand, you could also do the classic. So in this case, um, it's going to include the picture, it's gonna include this, and it's gonna include the price. Um, you can edit a few things here. You can edit your image size. Um, you can edit this button text, which is nice. Um, so if I wanted to make it all caps here, I'm going to make it all caps, which is nice. And then I'm gonna change this again to Montserrat Bold. And then I'm gonna change the price to Montserrat Bold. Okay. 
So that is a little bit more branded. Um, I don't believe they have, no, they do not have my uh, custom font. So in that case, I would just pick something that's close um, and go with that. <clears throat> As you can see, we still have it in the add to cart. So this looks pretty good. So I'm gonna go next, copy this code. I'm just gonna move this guy over. Open a new embed code, double click, paste this in here. And then you're gonna kinda have to rearrange this box depending on how it loads here. There we go. And this is pretty small. Um, you could adjust the size of the image in um, Shopify. But that just kind of shows you the difference in how you can kind of customize things if you just want the button versus the whole um, Shopify buy button, which is like their classic version. Um, and then the last option that you can do is the uh, full on, I forget what they call it, full view. Here we go. So in this case, it's a huge picture. You can have multiple pictures and it includes the description. So in this case, we'll copy this and I'll show you what this looks like as well. I'm actually gonna put this below because it is quite a bit bigger. There are quite a bit of customization op options. I'm going through this pretty quickly. Um, but these three options um, give you a pretty good choice. So you can get it to match your site pretty nicely. This. You can see how you can kind of resize it a little bit. So this might be a nice option if you do just have the one product like I do. Um, for right now, um, it gives a description, which this is on the sales page, so I don't think I would really need it, but if I had it on a different page, I might go with that one. Um, so again, I'll put it in a preview mode so you can see what those three look like. Again, this was just the single buy button option. This was the um, classic view, which includes all the picture, the title, and the price, and the button. And then this is the full view. And then um, you can see how this integrates um, the cart on the side, which is nice as well. Um, it basically lets you add products through Shopify onto your Show It site while keeping your branding pretty consistent um, and without getting that full Shopify subscription um, and having a full on Shopify site. So you can stay on show it, you can integrate it into your site and it will still look pretty nice and you'll still have that show it, or excuse me, that Shopify backend um, that really helps you keep organized uh, for products. Um, comment if you have any questions, if you're interested in the show it bootcamp, um, shoot me a message or uh, an email and, or enroll. Thanks, guys.